Hello, hello everyone. If you are like me and have been playing Battle Talents VR full game out now, enjoying all the little secrets and treasures it holds, today I'm going to be showing and telling you guys everything brand new that they've added into the room. So, know the long term goals now for Battle Talent VR and for the future of what is to come. You're in luck. I'm right here right now to show you guys all of this. Now, there is the recent quest patch update for June, which I will just mention out right here. So the changelog quest patch for patch on June 6th. Uh, due to the censorship of Steam version, it'll take usually one or two weeks ahead of the quest version. They'll just release a catch-up patch later of the quest on June 6th. So it's a little bit more in sync with the Steam version of Battletown VR. The uh, general and performance bug and artwork fixes, there is now a better cheat menu, more two-handed cast spells, better aerial combat, more loot in the Sky Ruin, and they fix some animations, optimized final bug performance fight, optimized the test scene, fix real-time shadow bug on the quest, and with some of the artwork, they've replaced the Storm Pistol art, the Ice Dagger, Sword Artwork, and the Goblin Armor. Now, some of the things that I am really excited to mention. Now, we're going to be getting an upgrade with the Mod Toolkit. And with that will also come Avatar Modding 2.0, NPC Modding 2.0, and Story Modding Support, Custom AI Support, and we get Vehicles. New chapters included, guess who will be back, bonus NPCs, new weapons, new maps, and improving the basics of virtual effects, animation, and a long-term goal in a head, presumably once all of that is either improved or done or released, multiplayer, which has now been officially confirmed by Fonzie right there, multiplayer is a reality changing thing for battle time being able to play with random folks and getting the chance to play with your friends in battle time that would be something very very cool because it's not a game like this on quest yet so honestly that would be awesome to see if possible and some most of the things i'm looking forward to right here myself the npc modding 2.0 and it's going to have to be the upgrade of the mod toolkit because obviously better mods equals better modding experiences for Battletown VR. Now, let me know your thoughts and opinions, guys. What are you most looking forward to? But apart from that, my name's H. Shen. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.